Hi friends! We are glad to welcome you to our oil painting workshop. The workshop is led by artist Tatiana Zubova. Subscribe to the channel, there are a lot of amazing painting lessons. So let's start! Today we will paint a very nice bird on her own branch. It's a lovely, delicate picture. For this painting, we will need the following oil paints. Titanium white, cadmium yellow light, or a cadmium lemon, cadmium yellow deep, or cadmium medium, cadmium red, mother lake rose, phallocyanine blue, ultramarine light, and burnt sienna. There are two yellow paints, one cool and one warm, the same red paints, two blue paints, and one brown. You can change some colors and take these that you have. My canvas size is 35 by 35 centimeters. You can take the same, bigger or a smaller canvas if you want. By the way, you can use different materials that you like. Just feel the Christmas atmosphere and enjoy. And let's create such a nice gentle picture. First, let's make the underpainting. Mix some colors. Mix white and blue. First color is ultramarine with white, and the next one is phallocyanine blue with white. Add yellow light paint to these mixes. And we got such gentle green colors. Now take just a bit of green and mix it with a lot of white. Then let's make this color a little warmer. Take a piece of paint and mix it with this yellow. And make another more blue color. Also add white. And let's make another mix. White with red. There are still previous colors on the palette knife, so they are getting there too. So we got such a base of gentle colors. Let's make the background. Wipe the palette knife. Take a flat brush. Pick up paint thinner. I'll use Autoless Turpentine and apply these colors alternately on the canvas. Add the paint thinner until the paint becomes soft and pliable. And let's mix another blue color to make some parts of the canvas more blue. Don't try to mix paints well. Use such an uneven mixed paint. It'll be great to make a varied background. just a bit of paint thinner. We are making a blurred background. We can recognize here trees, the sky and just the air. Now pick up pink. So we'll go the grayish purple tint. Somewhere we can add a little more yellow. And 
and gently blend colors on the canvas. Wipe the brush. Let's add some more blue in some places. And some were just light whitish colors. And green colors. And also blue. Mix the blue paint together. And somewhere we can add even darker, such a medium turquoise color. You can get turquoise by mixing blue with green. In our case, we can mix blue with cadmium lemon or a cadmium yellow light. Like this. Somewhere there will be darker spots. Wipe the brush. And spread the colors with the wider strokes. Just gently blend them. And some were at the lightest spots. Now let's outline the bird. I'll take a small bristle brush. Now we can use any paint, metallic or purple. And let's outline the branch on which the bird sits. Draw it diagonally like this. It's a curved branch. Then let's outline the bird. Draw such a big circle. And make it protruding here on the right, so it's like an ellipse. And another small circle here. And we've already got the head connected with the body. And here the bird will sit on the branch. There also will be hanging down berries. Now take a softer brush. Pick up red paint. Or we can also take red mixed with mother lake. And let's add berries. We should paint them in groups, not just separated berries, but in clusters of rowan. Now the paint will mix with the background, so we'll just mark the position of the clusters and then detail the berries. So let's add a big one here and one here. They can even overlap. 
Now don't try to show which ones are closer and which ones behind them. We'll detail this later. Like this, several berries nearby. Try to make groups of curious shapes so that all berries together form an uneven line. Somewhere 2, somewhere 4 and somewhere 5 berries make it different. And also don't be afraid to cover the branch. Like this, unite some berries like a cluster. You can add some more berries if you want, but the main thing is to make them in groups. And I'll add even one more berry here. So we got these varied berries. Now pick up a darker color, muddy leak with a brown. And make the distant berries darker. And we can correct the shape. Just wipe off excess paint with a finger and make the berries behind the closure one a little darker. They will be paler. Of course, we'll add saturation later where it needed. Pick up Mother Lake with red and touch the berries already lighter. Touch lightly. Again, model lake with red. And keep on adding this. Note that I don't add paint thinner. I use just pure paint. Remember that we can crop some berries if we need. And make the berries even brighter. Now cover the upper brighter berries with a red paint. Those berries that are on top of others. Do it little by little, not immediately.
Then let's paint a bird. Pick up an orange color, mix yellow with red. First we'll make the face. But before this we need to wipe off in excess paint. To do this, take a palette knife I'll use this small one and scrape off the paint inside this shape like this. Try to leave just a very thin layer. You can even wipe it with a rag. Like this, remove an excess paint. Now take an orange paint and start to cover it from the head. Gradually move to the breast. And already now we can show the direction of feathers. Lightly move the brush back and forth. Some were add more red. We need to add more brightness against the calm light blue background. Now I already add yellow light with yellow deep. Add feathers slower with the small strokes. Remove the excess paint and wipe the brush. Now take another brush to make the white part of the breast. I'll use a bigger brush, pick up white and start to add whitish feathers like this. Somewhere orange can get in here, it'll look nice. And somewhere leave just white breast. You can scrape off excess paint with a palette knife and put it on the palette. Now we need rather soft brushes. It can be natural hair brushes like Kalinsky or synthetic ones. Take any that you have. Mix brown, blue and yellow. And we got this dark greenish color. You can even use burnt umber to get it. darker parts. Let's add more blue. Let's add the same dark brownish green on top of the head. Gently blend it with short strokes. Now take a thinner salt brush. I'll use Kalinsky hair brush. Pick up white and show the fuzzy part of the breast.
Let's make a well-fed plant bird. Of course, you can make a more shapely bird if you want. Pick up white. Now it will blend with paints on the canvas. And slowly move down with light touches. Imitate feathers. Move in the shape of the body. Add more grey colors here on the left. And we already got such a fuzzy bird. Pick up a lighter yellow colors, yellow deep with white. And add lighter yellow feathers here. The same yellow can also be on the left. Now let's make a branch. Mix brown with blue. Outline it like this. Your hand should shake a bit. The branch can cover some berries. It's a rather thick branch. Take a thinner brush and pick up a bit of paint thinner. Let's add a small twig here. The connection should be gentle, without sharp angles. Make it thicker here. And move backward. Let's add another twig here. There is a thickening from which we grow twigs with berries. You can make the branch more colorful, for example, make some parts more blue. Now take a thin brush with a long hair. Like this one. Pick up paint thinner, brown paint with blue, and start to connect twigs with berries. I'll add more paint thinner and connect them. There can be a thicker twig that holds smaller twigs.
Then take a small brush, let's add the eye. There is such a small eye. And add a beak on the left. I'll use a round brush to do this. Let's make the eye even darker, more black. And add highlights inside with a thin brush. And make these disheveled feathers on top a little darker. And let's also make his head a little wider here. And add some more red feathers on the neck. Now take a palette knife. Let's add the snow on the branch. We won't paint the feet because the branch is covered with the snow and we can see them. Cover it with such a snow. And of course, cover the berries. Pick up a small amount of white paint. Powder them with snow like this. Touch lightly to leave a little shaggy strokes. When we touch lightly, the strokes look more curious. I've added more titanium white. We can even add some more snow and some berries. 
first add a small amount of paint and then add some more paint on several berries. Keep on powdering the branch with the snow. And again do it with very light touches. We can scrape off some excess paint. And here I add a calmer pinkish turquoise snow. And don't forget that the snow covers even small twigs. So spread white paint on the palette like this. Pick up paint on the side of the palette knife. And cover small twigs with the snow with such cutting movements. Somewhere there is more snow and somewhere less. Berries are also turned to the different sides, so we'll show visible connections with twigs later. But before this, let's vary colors of the berries. Pick up a brighter reddish-orange color and make some berries brighter. Not every berry, just some of them. If you do this with only a few, they'll immediately become glowy. And if you make every berry brighter, then they won't stand out. And on others, on the contrary, add more mother lake. And also don't do this with all berries. Then add dark dots on some berries. Just small dots. Just on some berries. And mark visible clothes here. Mm -hmm. 
and this part will cover with snow. Now I'll take a soft synthetic brush and let's set snowflakes on the painting. Make liquid white paint, pick up paint on the tip of the brush and add such snowflakes, press somewhere harder and somewhere lighter. First, set it in the empty parts of the background where there is no objects. Alternate smaller and bigger snowflakes. And try to make them quite rounded. And we can add even some translucent snowflakes in the background. There also should be here to create the general atmosphere. Now take a paper towel and add some snowflakes on top of the objects. When you see that the paint on the brush has become dirty, then wipe the brush and pick up paint again. We can also wear some snowflakes on the branches. And even on berries. Constantly wipe the brush. Also, if you want, you can make the snow on their own more varied. Add a little more blue strokes to make shadow parts. And let's spatter some berries with the snow a little more. So we got such a frosty, snowy, bright painting. 
You can like, subscribe and comment the video if you enjoyed it. I wish you great paintings and a good mood. See you in the next videos!